Hey guys, I'm at the JGM show. It's just now opening, so hopefully, hopefully they're gonna lock, unlock the doors soon. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna be filming as much as I can at the gym shows. They've just started, but um, there's certain shows and you know certain areas of shows, certain tents where you're not allowed to bring your camera in or film or anything or take pictures. So I'm just kind of filming and piecing together these vlogs where I can get footage. Uh, and sometimes I can ask the vendors too if I can film. Okay, some people are still opening. Let me flip this around though. There's Kunzite, Morganite, Danbright. Those are some of my favorites this year. That's some nice quality there, the Kunzite. I believe that is from South Africa. I love all the rough though, isn't that pretty? So this is Morganite uh -huh. from Afghanistan. Oh, Afghanistan. Yes. Ooh, look at the tourmaline. This is like for You got Morganite here. here. Here is the best one. $10. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, you can tell. Oh, you can yeah. Tell look at the color of that Morganite. Oh, what a contract here. Look at these. See how beautiful that is? See, so this is that faceted and everything. Nice. Like this down here instantly, you can tell. How beautiful is that Morganite? So that's top quality right there. Look how clear. And the pink. They also say this is pink emerald. <laughs> Big barrel. Pink. Okay. Wow, what a what a difference, huh? Yeah. And this is very clean, sir. Yeah. And because you know some of these have inclusion, we get uh, remove the inclusion to get clean. Yeah, it's interesting to see all the different grades and colors of it, huh? Ones that are A grade, they really stand out. We'll have to go back to the gym wall. I'll show you that one. It can compare the colors of yeah, the Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is that one? Did I even film that with my camera? I think I've been filming oh. with my phone. Your phone. So I mean, amethyst is really cool, but I'm always attracted to like the lighter, the lighter uh -huh. lavender colors too. Well, that's the thing too is at this show you can get, I mean, just anything you can imagine and then some in uh, gyms. And look how pretty that is. So they do um, like a light coating over the crystal. It's so pretty. You get up close, you can see all the rainbow sparkle. So that's Angel Aura the treatment they do on the crystal. Look at that quartz crystal. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, that's huge. Can you guys can you guys see how big that is? Ooh, look at those. Look at that one. That's cool with the crystal coming out of it. Sweet. Amethyst and citrine. Chunky quartz crystal points. Rose quartz. I'm looking for some good quality rose quartz. So there's the Madagascar rose quartz, Brazil, and Namibia. If I'm saying that right. Oh, there's some more agates there. So far, some of my favorite rose quartz has been the Madagascar because it stars. So if you shine a light on it or you know, have display lights on it, it'll star inside the stone, which is super cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these crystals. Look how fine those are. $5,000 $5,000 $5,000 Holy moly Wow And the clarity on this $6,000 Wow Okay, look at these on the table now so pretty. Look at this one up here. And this one here. Oh my gosh, look at all those crystals on there. Okay guys, I'm at one of my favorite booths. This is Yawa Opal, it's an Australian boulder opal from Queensland. Wow. Oh my gosh, okay, let me show you one of my favorite pieces right here. Look at that specimen, oh man. Hopefully this is gonna come up. 
No, I don't think it is. Shoot, it's it's so much more vivid in person. What really makes Boulder Opal so special to me is the fact that it's in ironstone, which is the brown matrix, and it's got all those, you know, deep, like cobalt blues, purples, aqua. You know, it's like being up above the earth, looking down, you get all the earthy browns, and then, you know, the bodies of water going through it. I think maybe that's what draws me to it. But you want to see a price on one of these? Here, here, check this one out. First one we looked at. Yep. $490. These are the miners too, and it's direct, direct pricing. These are also the pricier, pricier pieces. Like, look at those. Like, even these, even with a lot of the ironstone in there, but just because they're such perfect specimens. Oh, like the cobalts and purples. Um, so these prices, 200 and less. This tray is a hundred less. Some cool little pieces in there too. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys one of my absolute favorite stones and I have some pieces picked out here too. This one really grabbed my attention too. It's very pastel. There's another one just like it. This really caught my eye here. Okay, so Michael brought me down to see this camera. It is. And you, I want, we want you to feel this because the tree skin, the, the, the type of the texture. And look at the wrinkles on the neck. And this is yeah. a what stone? This is a you know, picture jasper? Picture jasper yeah. from New Mexico. Is it's it Colorado really? Range. Oh my gosh. I know, I told Mike about what the detail on the leg. Look at the tail. Uh. Wait, let's flip it over. Let's see the other detail. Yeah. You get over <laughs> <laughs> now you know, it's male or female, it's gender. But it's 25 years ago, the fellow have it from a, a young artist who do the work in the New Mexico oh. area. But of course today, these kind of people are not existing in the, in the market. Yeah, yeah, really good detail that. on it. This, I, this caught my eye right away. It caught my eye, you know, many years ago. I love camels. To see that. Oh, look at them. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah so I, I really like yeah. them a lot. So the uh, <clears throat> the Uruguay amethyst has am it's, um, it's agatized, right? It's agate, yeah. yeah. And they polish it all like super nice. So these are their uh, higher quality. What factors do you look for? I think you got one like this before, right? Yeah, it's all I crystallized. Yeah, I have some that have the agate all the way around on the and some that are all, like that has a little bit of the agate in there, but I have some that are all solid all. crystal. Yeah. I like that one too. Flip it over, see? Oh, well kind of, yeah. at a flash it looked like a globe. We're at the 22nd Street show. 22nd Street, this. Some really fantastic specimens yeah. in here. Some pyrite, calcite, cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this one up here, who knows, uh, maybe a couple hundred. There's no price on this, yeah. maybe priceless numbers. <laughs> so Christine came across this unique formations. Yeah, I like this. That's what we're getting. Yeah, nice. That's cool. Uh, so this tent is probably 200 yards long, a uh, full of... And there's more tents just in this show too. So yeah, outside. That outside. Way, it's literally like a quarter mile in this one show of I want to merchandise. Check your okay. So that is the one that stars the Madagascan Rose Quartz top quality right here, you guys. So one of these pieces costs two hundred and fifty dollars wholesale. It almost has a look of Morganite. Gobi Desert Agate. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I'm used to be in the jewelry business. I also do I manufacture jewelry. For Claire's Petit, for Target, for all these shops, indirectly for the wholesalers. 
But right now, and then I was 20 years ago, I was in China. I buy many, many stones because I love, I just buy it. <laughs> yeah. So I, that's, that's what we're doing right now. I'm just getting out of control. This is, a, this is a 20 years ago. And then I also keep buying, keeping yeah. the business. Look at pyrite stones, how much? Are you ever going to get some of these? One day, eventually. Look at this piece. He sold this one. Here's the guy. That's the vendor. Really? It almost looks like a chandelier because oh, you can see all the, the crystals <laughs> all hanging downward. Oh, look at the one inside, Christy. He says, look at it. Look at that. Oh. Whoa. Nice. That's some nice ones. Got a good one there. Tibetan oh, quartz. wow. Tibetan. Oh, Tibetan quartz? Mined in the 1990s. Yeah, just for reference, how big that is. Low, low. Well, his business is for you sale. Buy this piece, my friend. You should buy this piece. What is that one? You know why? This is Senelai. Senelai, right? This piece, they go from here. They go all the way inside. Transition from here. Oh, they go inside. This it? go. This is inside. This out, out yeah, of piece yeah. cover. Michael, look at this view. That's fantastic. Just the tip, not down here. Just the tip only. only oh, the see, tip. it's got this yeah. ridge. Only like the veins. Tip. Only the tip. They the messages all over here. This is a museum piece. So I like this one. That so it goes smashes. I know there. that's really yeah, neat. That is. that is so wintry. That would be such a cool ah. decor piece to have. It's so icy. God, I love that one. That would be really neat. Spaceship. God, I love it. I gotta take a picture of this thing. It's pressuring me. <laughs> I'm not pressuring you. <laughs> I'm pressuring him. No, let, let me tell you what you're doing. Is very good. I am. You know what's the most important. So this is a super clear selenite. Did you say it was from Uruguay? Uruguay, yeah. Uh, look at that. Look in there. It's like I a whole so world. Cool. It really is. Ice planet specimen. What do you think? I could go crazy at the show buying up stuff. So we're debating getting that thing. And the, the risk is you walk away and it sells. Because every gemstone here is absolutely one of a kind. So, so you're trying to decide if you should walk he's away and think about it. Stuff. Yeah, he sold some big show. pieces. So, so if you walk away, it could sell in a yeah. minute. It could sell it, literally within seconds of us walking away. Well, you want to go take another look at it and touch it and see how you feel about it? Yeah, the 25,000. So like 450, 1500. Yeah, but like I'm saying, now they're all unique. I mean, yeah, from one you, net to the you can tell he's a collector. What it is, Chrysoprase, uh, look at that. Imagine that. Finding that, there, I know. Yeah, you find a rock and then you break it open. I'm like, oh, what? Uh, how'd that be like? That. From Brazil and Australia. I would mind. Okay. <laughs> I know you're only interested in me for my open, yeah. okay? <laughs> I just have to show you guys how cool is this boulder opal he's wearing. And he found it. That's lucky, insane. lucky. That's like the most vibrant piece I've ever seen. That really is something else. I mean, that thing, it totally looks like it's lit up on the outside. Thank you, guys. <laughs> wow, I'll so tell you what, much that, to that see. opal was that's that's what I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that kind of vibrant I color. Something. I love when the crystal is shattered and then it's growing out. Oh yeah. Again, like yeah, the heat it like fuses and keeps growing. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so neat. Look at those big points. Riverline Smith. Uh, where you it's like a mountain range. It's when the crystal heat like yeah, shears off and then reheals. Yeah, yeah, that's typically what wow. happens. Uh, okay. I haven't seen that. The healing surface. Uh, it looks like a mountainscape. 
Look, I love all the meteorites. Those are the same kind of crystal, but from a different location. These are from Africa, those are from Brazil. Look at those. These are older ones from the late 80s, early 90s. This is more current. Should get it. Because it might not be back to this show. I don't know. Look at those things hiding in there. <laughs> Alright, we just left the Quality Inn show. <laughs> now, okay, now we're at the Howard Johnson, right? Yeah. Or is that the next one? I think the next one's Howard Johnson. Okay. Just, maybe it all just kind of blends together. I know, it does just blend together. So much to look at. Look at all these flats. Look at those chunks of selenite. I turned that into a table, like a little side table. Nightstands. Oh, chunks perfect. of selenite yeah. nightstands. But it's uh... Or accent tables. Wait. Yeah, what do you got there? <laughs> this is all rough morganite. From Brazil. And so I really like the rough because it's just, you know, earthy and natural but it still has that delicate pink. Um, and it's not just a gem show, you can find other stuff like uh, carpets, carpets, fanny bags. Uh, hey, how are you? <laughs> crystals. I gotta show you guys these cool crystals in here and they're huge. My camera's dying, but I'm gonna try to show you this. Look how big this rose quartz is. Just for an example. Look at how big that is. Good morning, guys. I'm at the Miner's Co-op. So it is freaking cold this morning though. I woke up, it was 38 degrees and I was like, it's gonna be 80 today, but it's just funny in the desert, you know, the extreme temperatures. So we're just starting out here. This is the first show we're doing this morning. Uh, shopping at. So we found this booth of amethyst here, uh, but not just any amethyst. This is from Ontario and it has these iron oxides in it, which makes some of it turn more pink and red. It's super cool. Let's see. It's, it's not coming up on camera. If I grab a piece, and... I don't know if that's going to come up, but you know what? Let me show you. Oh, I didn't know they made two dollar bills up there still. So it's the Blue Points Amethyst Mines. So they've got all these little pieces and they have more, kind of more specimen pieces over here. Let's grab this one. You see how that's a different color? Yeah. Super well, unique. So apparently there's yeah. just one mountain range where this has been found. It's the only place in the world. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Crispy potato dog. Are you gonna get a Sonoran dog? I'm gonna try a Sonoran dog. I've never had one. So <laughs> Hi. Can we get a Sonoran dog and crispy potato tacos, please? Yep. That's awfully orange uh, lemonade. Better try that. <laughs> it's got turmeric in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is my first Sonoran dog. Oh. Because cool. I've because I've never had one that's awesome. been made vegan, so I didn't. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, so here's, your, here's your dog, but I gotta right. get your side. Sure. So. Mm. Sonoran dog. <laughs> Those are the sides. How was it? Your very first Sonoran dog in Tucson. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming by. Awesome, thank you. Yes, potato tacos. Oh, they do not shy on the sides at this too. I'm glad to see yeah. that. I like that these are crispy too. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, we just finished up at Jamerico and I'm looking at crystal specimens. So these are really nice quality. I'm just looking for the right specimen. You know, you want, you want the shape and the points to be, you know, like displayed prominently and have a cool look. So yeah, I just look for unique ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
largest collection of top meteorite right now. Yeah, so this is the largest compilation of lunar meteorites, uh, as far as we know, that's ever been put together uh, in any museum, uh, with NASA, anybody. In fact, uh, we just had the director of the Institute of Meteoritics uh, from the University of New Mexico come over and say that this is the best display he's ever seen, and they might actually want to use it for remote sensing testing. And uh, it's comprised of five different lunar meteorites um, in this particular bit, and it's comprised of about 25 kilograms. And then in the case over here, we have another, uh, let's see, another five different uh, lunar meteorites represented from this shelf on down. And this is 11228. It's got a lot of metal, so the, the meteorite that actually hit it and ejected it onto the Earth is incorporated into this particular meteorite, which is kind of neat. And this lunar right over here on the far right has, still has fresh glassy fusion crust on it, and we've just never found a lunar uh, that has, we've, so we've never watched one fall, we've seen many, many meteorites fall, but we've never seen a lunar fall, and we've never even found one in North America, Europe, or Asia, they've all been found in Northwest Africa, and this is the freshest lunar meteorite we've ever found, and it still has the uh, fresh glassy fusion crust. Hey guys, we're at the River Park show right now, here's all the way around. Um, there was some really pretty Larimar back there too. Bought from that place last time. Look at this place. Gym, gym infused water. Inside there, isn't that pretty? So it changes it changes the uh, molecules of the water. Water becomes alkaline. It looks really pretty having the stones on the side there, doesn't it? Oh, see, these are fun. I like these. The little to-go bottles. This is the bottom piece of the bottle, and you just screw it on like that. Oh. And this is how you have a perfect water bottle. See. This piece here goes in the dishwasher, and this piece here, you just go and unscrew it. You can also take that part off and hand wash that. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, we're riding a little tough down on our way to Jim Hall. Yeah, I'm gonna be back either tomorrow or the next day.